So here we have the cassette toilet as a water flush and an integral waste holding tank which is accessed from the, from the outside. Before we can use it, first we have to prepare the waste tank and we need to go outside for that. Here we have the tank ready to pull it out. To remove it, just lift up the clip here and slide it out. Now before use we have to prepare this of course. And here we have water and chemicals to add to it. Here's what we've got. We have a green liquid which is fully biodegradable and safe for septic tanks. A blue liquid which is better for working in higher temperatures. These dissolve up any waste products in the tank. There is an alternative, a dry pot, which is a sachet that just drops in as one measure. For the liquids, you need to add approximately 120 millilitres to the measuring cup, which will add to the tank. First of all, we need to add the water. Now you need about two litres for this tank. Just pour it in. then add your sachet or the put the cap on and you're ready to go. Okay so now we come to use the toilet. First of all we do recommend a special dissolving toilet paper which is designed to break down in the waste tank so it doesn't clog up any mechanisms or anything. So, you sit on this end, do what you have to do. At this point, the waste tank is actually sealed off from the bowl. So, first of all, you can just use this little lever there, open up the trap door. Do what you have to do, and then flush. Also on the top of the console is a red indicator light. This will glow when the cassette itself is ready for emptying. Probably about 85% full. So if it turns red in the middle of the night, you don't have to panic. You've got enough to see you through. Also, we have one special feature that you won't find on any other uh, caravan toilet. For those of you who like to overindulge occasionally on alcoholic beverages, we do provide a chin rest. We now have a full tank of your personal business that we need to dispose of. We'll slide out the set, take it down to the local dump point, swivel the spout round, take off the cap, put it in a safe place because you don't want it dropping down any holes. Press the yellow one at the end, this will let air into the system so it doesn't actually splash back at you. And then assume the position.